Okay, these are some valves. Okay, intakes and exhausts from different types of engines. And just like what you might see in the gym locker room, they do come in all different shapes and sizes. Okay, unlike the gym locker room, we do have to give these guys a thorough inspection. Now, you can see immediately some differences in the thicknesses here of the margins. Like this guy here is pretty thin. And differences in that valve face and the angles. And some of the conditions of these guys. Now, before you do any measuring, you want to clean them. And the best way to clean them in a wire wheel okay, on your bench grinder is the best way. You don't want to sandblast them or anything like that. Now, this guy here, you can see he has a double groove valve lock. This big long guy has a single. Okay, And then even here on this, this one here off MX-13, he's got a triple valve lock system. Okay, One thing they do all have in common no matter who the manufacturer was, uh, the tip is hardened and they all have a chamfer on them. Okay, uh, that's all present on all of them. Uh, the valve face here is kind of shiny on all of them here, indicating that, you know, maybe it had a good mate. Uh, this one here is a little bit burnt though, so maybe not on that guy. We can see a uh, fillet area here and especially noticeable right here. See that nice big fillet? Uh, really noticeable on this guy here. He's really wide and flat. Okay, and then the stem. If you didn't have that fillet here, it'd just be like a 90 degree and it has kind of prone to, to failure point there, a lot of stress. Okay, lots of different sizes. Uh, I can tell you for sure Caterpillar, Cummins, Packard, Chevy of all things. This one here is off the Kubota. Okay, little tiny dirty guy. Now you clean them with the wire wheel. Why do you have to do that? You can see some gunk built up on here. We need to measure these. Okay, and you can do a run out. You put it in your valve grinder machine and see if it runs straight or if it wobbles. Right? It should, should run relatively straight. But we'll do have to inspect them with our other favorite tool, the outside mic. Okay, most OEMs are going to give you a few measurements. You're going to want to check out around on these guys. So you take a measurement up top here and then take it again oops take a measurement here turn the valve 90 degrees take it there and get it out around do it in the middle do it at the bottom okay not only do measuring them give you an idea of the health of that but actually looking what's on there okay we can see this is really carboned up right and then this guy in the background has all kinds of gunk built up on him as well uh, why did we pull this out right in the first place? Was it because we thought we had a, you know, a bad valve guide seal? Well, that would support our theory and justify why we're inside this engine. So, really quickly, the valves, take a look at them, how they look, take a measurement if they're reusable. You might want to put them in the valve grinder, clean them up, and return them to service. If they're suspect or anything like that, throw them out. They're really cheap. Now, this one here you can see is a two-piece. It's actually two different materials here. This was welded on and finished. Uh, same with the tip up top, welded on and finished. A couple different materials here. Now, if you're actually really concerned about them too, uh, always check for corrosion on this shaft. Right, that has to seal nice and well. Uh, you can see even the keepers will never stay in there again. 